Hey everyone, it's Heather Nichols, and I'm so excited to share the new Thank You in Bloom card making kit and projects that I created with it with you today. So let's get things started by taking a look at what is included in the Thank You in Bloom kit. All of our kits come in a vinyl zipper pouch with a sticker on the outside. This kit centers around the Thank You in Bloom stamp and stencil combo set. There's a red rubber stamp to stamp the thank you, a template to help you line up the sentiment, and then a set of three stencils to add the floral elements around the sentiment. The kit also includes the Awesome Blossoms layering stencil and coordinating die. This is great for creating single floral elements to use on your projects. This next item is not a part of the kit, but is available to purchase separately as an add-on. This is the Foil It Thank You in Bloom panels so that you can add a metallic look to your sentiment. In the kit, you'll get a small pot of rose gold sequins. And then all of our kits include six envelopes so that you can send your projects out to share joy with your loved ones. In this kit, there are three toffee and three rose water envelopes, as well as six envelope seals there are three of two different designs in this kit. In addition to the kit, here are other supplies that I used. I have ink colors, guava, cherry pop, mulled wine, lemon meringue and candy corn, avocado, olive, and lime zest, mocha, sugar cube, and Oreo. I've got my Bitty Blender brushes to do my ink blending. I have pixie spray to hold stencils in place. I'm using the Frame and Frame 2 cutting plate dies and the stitched rectangle stacklets dies. I'm using post-it removable labeling tape and I have my 1x3 foam strips. And for a liquid adhesive, I'm using multimedia matte. For adding splatters to my project, I have Copic Opaque White Ink, Chocolate Truffle Liquid Watercolor, and a water brush. I'm using Silver Deco Foil for foiling. And then finally, I'm using the White Tiny Diamonds from the Tiny Diamonds Bold set on one of my cards. I'm starting things off by foiling with my mink machine. I have my mink machine set to like either a four or five when I'm foiling on cardstock. The hotter temperature ensures that that foil is gonna transfer well. I cut a piece of the silver deco foil to cover the panel and then I'll layer that foil onto the panel pretty side up so that shiny silver side should be showing. I set the panel and the foil into the carrier sheet and sent that right through the mink machine. Once the panel has gone through the machine you can peel off the foil to reveal the foiled sentiment. You can also stamp your sentiment with the Thank You in Bloom stamp and stencil combo set. The template in the set will ensure that you have your sentiment lined up exactly like you need it to go with the stencils. I'm setting this up right in my Misty. You're just going to layer that template right on top of an A2 size piece of cardstock. Set that Thank You sentiment stamp right into the openings on the template. Close the lid of the Misty to pick up the stamp and then remove the template from your cardstock. I'm stamping my sentiment with Oreo ink, so I'll ink that up and then close the lid of the Misty to stamp that onto the cardstock. Now I'll use the coordinating stencils to add the florals. There are three stencils, and as you can see, there is an etched thank you in the center of the florals so that you can use that as well to line everything up. I'm using a thin layer of pixie spray sprayed on the back of my stencils to hold them in place. For this first stencil, I'll be using guava ink for the larger flowers and lemon meringue for the smaller flowers. I started blending those larger flowers with the guava ink, and then I decided that I better do a little match Asking to make sure my color didn't overlap into the openings where I didn't want it to go. I'm using that post-it removable tape, but you can use other things to mask as well, like a post-it note or another type of removable tape. I added cherry pop ink to the center of the flowers to add just a little bit of extra dimension and chaining. And then I moved my masks around so that I could blend the smaller flowers with lemon meringue ink. And then finally for this first stencil, I added a bit of shading to the center of the lemon meringue flowers with candy corn ink. The second stencil includes the greenery and the centers for the larger flowers. Once I had the stencil lined up, I added the leaves to the guava flowers with avocado ink and I shaded that with olive ink. And I added the leaves to the lemon meringue flowers with lime zest ink. 
Finally, for the second stencil, I added the flower centers to the guava flowers with mold wine ink. The last stencil includes lots of tiny flowers in the flower centers for the lemon meringue flowers. And so I did this all with sugar cube ink, but then when I took it off, I decided I wanted the flower centers to be a darker color. So I put the stencil back and added those flower centers with mocha ink. I stenciled my foiled panel the exact same way. The only difference is for the tiny flowers on that third stencil, I used candy corn ink. Now let's create some single floral elements to use on our projects using the Awesome Blossoms layering stencil. I took an A2 piece of cardstock and cut that in half so I have a piece of cardstock that is two and three fourths inches by four and a quarter inches. Line this cardstock up with the left side of the stencil, and that's the only side of the stencil we're going to use right now. I'm using the post-it removable tape to mask off the areas that I don't want to add color into, and then I'm going to add color to the flowers. I'm adding the same colors that I did when I showed you how to do it with the Thank You In Bloom Stampin' Stencil combo set. Once I have the left side of the stencil all done, then I'm going to shift the stencil over to the other side. And this side of the stencil is going to add the details like the flower centers and the details to the leaves. When I'm all done with my stenciling, I have a piece of cardstock that's full of all sorts of flowers and leaves that I can cut out and use on my projects. I stenciled the Awesome Blossoms layering stencil on a piece of sugar cube cardstock as well. And now I'm going to use the coordinating die to cut everything out. This die lines up right over the stenciled flowers and leaves and with one pass through your die cut machine it'll cut out all of the pieces at the same time. Now that I have all of the stenciling, stamping, and foiling done, I'm going to create three different card designs with the different pieces from this kit. For the toffee cardstock panel that I stamped the sentiment on and stenciled the florals around, I'm adding the individual floral elements that I made with the Awesome Blossoms layering stencil, and I'm popping those up over different pieces of the flowers on the original stencil design to add some extra dimension and detail. I have a panel with just the foil sentiment on it, and I'm going to be using the floral elements from the Awesome Blossoms set, and I'm creating my own arrangement around the sentiment. So first I'm arranging the florals and then when I'm happy with my layout I used a piece of press and seal film to pick up the arrangement and just set it to the side so that I can die cut the panel. I used my die cut machine to die cut the panel using the largest stitched frame rectangle stacklets die. I cut out the foiled panel with the stencil design using the frame and frame to cutting plate die. I'm using both the frame and the frame insert for the card that I'm creating with this panel. For the toffee panel, I decided to cut out on another frame using the frame and frame 2 cutting plate die to add around the outside of the stencil design. Okay, let's finish putting these cards together. For this panel that I cut out with the frame and frame 2 cutting plate, I'm adding some tape to the back just to secure the frame to the frame insert. I added the 1x3 foam strips to the back of the panel and attached this to a toffee card base to finish this card. Next I added the frame that I cut out with the frame and frame 2 cutting plate die around the edge of the toffee panel. I did adjust some of the pieces that were popped up so they overlapped the frame just a little bit. Next I added the florals back onto the panel that I arranged and had picked up with the press and seal. I'm adding foam adhesive to the back of the flowers and then I'll lay that right over the top of the panel so that everything is adhered in place just perfectly. I added the toffee panel to a sugar cube card base and added the other foiled panel to a toffee card base. As a finishing touch on this card, I used multimedia matte to add rose gold sequins scattered around the sentiment and florals. To finish off the toffee card, I used white tiny diamonds and added them to the centers of the little white flowers that are scattered through the stencil design. Here's another look at all three card designs that I shared with you today. I also added splatters using Copic opaque white ink and chocolate truffle liquid watercolor. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the Thank You In Bloom card making kit and I hope you were inspired by the project that I created with it. You can find the kit and the other supplies that I used to create my projects at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks so much for joining me everybody and I'll see you next time.